Scoob. Wear this garlic for protection. Vampires hate it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't bring garlic in here. No wooden steaks, garlic, or flash photography. Huh. Well, I hate to let perfectly good food go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic on us? Ah, gross! Just go inside. Weirdos. Whoa. <laughs> Ew, someone's wearing some stanky perfume. I don't smell it. Do you, Scoop? Nope. According to the program, the members of Fangenschanz are so dedicated to the vampire lifestyle, they perform only at night. Method actors. Ladies and gentle mortals, it's feeding time. What's that? You hear the sound of fear because they're here. Vampires roam in the night. What's that you say? Can't be. No. They're fake. Okay. Believe whatever you might. But when the moon is full out of starlit night, you best start lock your doors up tight. Cause my friend, the vampire, stopped to dance. All around you, everybody's coming to play. Yes, they found you. Now they're gonna take you away. Yes, watch out. <laughs> take care, be smart, beware. Because out there, something's waiting for you. When midnight comes, it's time to hide. Say good night and run inside. That my friend is when they all come out again. Oh yes, right now is when the vampires dance. Vampires dance. <laughs> Well, that's a fine kettle of fish. Hi there. My car just broke down, and I was wondering if you guys could give me a lift. I'm on my way to visit my Aunt Jebediza, and I'd sure hate to be late. She lives in this spooky house up on Widow's Peak. Spooky house? Jinkies! Jinkies? Hey, gang, what do you say we give this guy a lift? Jinkies? Hop in, stranger. Don't worry, I don't bite. Does she? Oh. Hey, Scoob, dig this guy's crazy hairdo. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> That's her house right up there. Oh! Ooh. Spooky! Yeah, whatever. And Jebedissa! Like this place looks deserted. Oh man, you're pretty. You're not welcome here. Well, it's been nice knowing you, Johnny. You can't do this. He's trying to help. 
Target's locked on, sir. Permission to fire? Fire on my command only. Repeat, on my command only. We gotta blow those alien freaks back in outer space. You really wanna disobey a direct order from Steel? Tennyson, I'm not through with you yet. But I'm through with you. You're not worth it. You never were. Good guys. And good guys never have the guts to finish guys like me. But I do. Fire! <laughs> Now, girls, eat your broccoli. It's exactly what growing superheroes need to charge up their powers. Oh, it's packed with all kinds of vitamins and minerals, and mmm, mmm, it's so good for you. Too bad it tastes so nasty. You haven't even tasted it yet. Shh. Well, you're not leaving the table until your broccoli is all gone. And the only way to get rid of broccoli is to eat it all up, like this. Oh, no! By this reading show, the receptospores have been ingested. Excellent. The time is ripe to initiate hypnotransmithesis. Now the Earth's barbaric mammal people shall be hypnotized into a vegetable state, allowing my warriors to reap through the Earth's animal population and weed out all the human beings, leaving we, the Broccoloid Empire, to harvest the fruits of the Earth and plant the seeds of a new empire! <laughs> I told you that stuff was wrong. Why did you eat it, Professor? Why? Just then, the girl's ultrasonic hearing is bombarded with cries for help. Sounds like we're not the only ones in trouble. We gotta find out what's going on. So the girls head out across Townsville, but everywhere they go, the story's the same. Our mom was trying to make us eat broccoli, but I went on so she I started glowing and then they just zonked out, man. Just like the Professor. Gotta investigate that broccoli. So the girls trace the broccoli back to its roots in hopes of unearthing some clues. Hey girls! Over here! What is it? Looks like a missile. Or a weird pea pod. Or both. Upon closer inspection, Blossom's microscopic vision reveals. It was carrying some sort of alien mind control spores. There's spores all over this field. It must have infected the broccoli. But why? Where did it come from? Looks like we're about to get our answer. Quick, hide! Lieutenant, 
branch out and scout the area for our first wave of invasion. What? Nobody invades Earth without a fight. From that 